If, after your inspection, you're still interested in buying the plane, you and the seller will need to negotiate a price, agree upon a deposit to be put in escrow, and sign an offer letter or sales agreement. The negotiated price is used as the base selling price. A typical agreement stipulates that any squawks that are found during the formal pre-purchase inspection beyond the list provided by the owner are either deducted from the negotiated price or repaired to the purchaser's satisfaction as part of the sale. The offer letter and sales deposit protect both the seller and the buyer. The seller is protected because the deposit ensures that the buyer is committed to the deal and the sales agreement protects the buyer from any surprises that are found during the pre-purchase inspection. This can protect you from having to pay for inspections on aircraft that have serious undisclosed problems. And this is why offer letters and sales agreements should always be contingent upon a formal pre-purchase inspection. Placing the deposit in escrow is very important. It allows for a third party, other than the seller or buyer, to hold the deposit during the sales process and release it according to your sales agreement. AOPA has an excellent escrow service. The offer to purchase must be signed by both parties to make it a binding contract and should have a process to end it without a sale in the event that either party decides to back out. If the seller decides not to sell at the negotiated price after expensive problems have been found that reduce the price of the aircraft, then the seller should pay for the inspection. If the sellers met the conditions of the sale, including fixing any problems or reducing the price to cover the price of repairs, but the buyer decides not to go through with the purchase, the seller is entitled to keep the deposit and the buyer still has to pay for the inspection. A well-written offer letter will protect you as well as the seller. It'll hold the aircraft for you while you get a pre-purchase completed and will allow you to negotiate the price or walk away depending on what the inspection reveals. Once you've agreed to the terms of the deal and signed an offer letter, you can schedule a formal pre-purchase inspection with an AMP mechanic. You should always select a mechanic that has not worked on the aircraft before. This is another opportunity to use the owner's group to help you find an experienced and reliable mechanic. The formal pre-purchase inspection will examine the aircraft more thoroughly than you could during your inspection. A good pre-purchase inspection is basically the same as a 100-hour inspection. Depending on the complexity of the aircraft, the inspection can take from 8 to 16 hours to complete. Multi-engine and complex aircraft can take much longer. This may sound like an expensive proposition, but remember that you're making a significant investment, and anything missed during the pre-purchase inspection can wind up costing you much more than the price of the inspection. If the inspection turns up anything that you're not comfortable with, don't hesitate to walk away from the deal. You may have lost the cost of the inspection, but you probably saved yourself a lot of money in the long run. Remember, be patient and you'll eventually find the right plane.